Hi, today we will discuss about principles of suturing. Principle of suturing. First principle, first is where to grasp the needle. This is your eye, this is your tip. Okay, you have to grab the needle one third distance from eye and two third from tip. That means in this position, you have to grab it with needle holder. So one third from eye, two third from tip. This is the first principle. Second, if this is your tissue and this is needle, it will enter perpendicular through the tissue. Perpendicular to the tissue. Okay, just like this. Perpendicular. Not like this or like this. It will go perpendicular. Enter perpendicular. Okay. Next third is after entering perpendicular to the tissue it will go it will follow the curvature of needle it will follow the curvature of needle that means like this it will follow the curvature of needle if it will not follow the curvature of needle if we push straight away the needle also will get straight and it will break or it will not come out from this side. So always we have to follow the curvature of the needle while passing through the tissue. Next, four. Four is the suture should be present at equal depth and distance from the incision line. Like if this is incision line, you are taking bite from here, that is distance x and it will come following curvature of needle and it will coming out from the, it will come out from the tissue at the equal distance x, that will ideal situation, it will enter and will remove from the same distance in both side from the incision and also same depth same depth and distance so this is four number five if one side is free tissue present free tissue and this is incision line and this portion the tissue is fixed is fixed that means bone or any muscle or anything present just below the flap that is fixed so always needle will go from free tissue to fixed free to fix free to fixed next six Number six, if one side of tissue is thin and this is incision and this side the tissue is thick, then also needle will go from thin to thick, from thin to thick, thin to thick, so free to fixed, thin to thick. Now seven, needle will go always deeper tissue, always deeper tissue to superficial tissue, superficial tissue, okay, deeper tissue to superficial tissue.
if different layer of tissue are suturing so needle will go deeper tissue to superficial tissue now 8 tissue must not suture under tension not under tension okay not under tension if so the tissues should be undermined prior to suturing in such cases okay so never under tension and ninth is you are suturing you are approximating you are approximating the approximating the flap this is your motto you are not strangulating the tissue that means you your suture should be like this that this tissue will not blanch will not blanch will not blanch okay this is nine so it should not so tight that it will blanch then 10 if this is incision line your knot will be here or here or anywhere but not in the incision line so not not in the incision line not in the incision line okay that is your 10th principle now 11th the suture should be placed at a greater depth than the distance from the incision so as to evert the wound margin that means if the incision line distance you are taking by from this distance ideally the depth of piercing depth where the suture will go the deep the depth will be more than length y will be more than x the depth of the suture will be more than the distance from the incision line okay now 12 for skin suture the suture usually removed after 5 days and for intraoral suture intraoral intra oral 7 days 7 days and in case of if there is any tension while suturing then you can keep the suture for 10 days okay so these were the principle of suturing